like this is sad. I can't vote in my own country. I can't choose a president in my own country. Nah, bro. But crazy. Crazy, bro. These are some of the bad aspects of democracy because it allows the people to misbehave. Sometimes democracy is bad. So don't forget to subscribe because we have the update for you. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, um, Togo is trending. Togo is trending. The first before to happen, wonders are happening in Togo right now as we speak. And critical situations are, you know, are rising. Um, in my other video, I talk about the coup d'etat in Togo. And then specifically that was just about the constitutional coup d'etat. Right now, what it is, was all about is that a coup in the constitution said that only members of parliament are allowed to vote instead of people, the citizens to vote. So that was what was happening in Togo and I give you out the update and then most of you were waiting for the second update on that. And now this is the second update. How is the coup trending in Togo? Togo is trending. Constitutional coup is trending. And then the allegations is that uh, Fawri Nasimbe have hijacked the constitution to allow only members of parliament to vote. If you're a citizen, you don't have anything to do with voting. Go and sit down. Yes, so that is what is happening. Right now, um, the president has signed or he's yet to sign. I don't know. But it has happened. If you are a citizen, you can't vote in Togo. Only members of parliament are going to vote. And then the results... The result, let me read out the result to you. The voting result as whether they should accept members of parliament to vote or the citizens to vote. Uh, let me read out the result for you and you see the voting result. Fix stated clearly that only members of parliament will vote. If you're a citizen, go and sit down. If you're a citizen, what? Go and sit down. We don't need you, man. You cannot vote. I was like, this is sad. I can't vote in my own country. I can't choose a president in my own country. Nah, bro. What happens if the members of parliament are just for one person? If majority is for Farin Asimbi, what do you think? That man is going to live for hundreds and thousands of years until his death. And when he dies, another member from the family will rise. Because it was a transition from the father to him and they have ruled for about 57 years and counting and now in Togo the, um, if you are a president in Togo you were supposed to rule for 5 years right now it has been increased to 6 years power Africa power leadership nah bro why is Africans fighting for power you see sometimes our demand for power is to the slavery of our economy because when that happens the western world will take you for granted they'll push out to you to get the power and they'll slave you now this is crazy let me read out the story i'm not gonna waste your time the voting result is what i'm gonna read to you and you know and this is the voting result as whether they should allow members of parliament only to vote or the citizens to also vote right now they kick against the fact that they are not going to allow citizens to vote only MPs are going to vote so now um in the parliamentary in the parliament voting you know if like as ghana anti-lgbtq bill that was passed recently and then they are still deliberating on the matter how the bill was passed is that when after crafting the bill there will be a voting in parliament and then the parliamentarians will vote is either to accept the bill or not to accept the bill so if the parliamentarians vote and those who accept the bill are more than those who do not accept the bill then it's a carry to those who accept it so it's the same thing those in parliament have voted to agree that they themselves will elect the president and then the senators too voted and now comparing all these two results it means that they have all agreed to let only the members of parliament to vote. This will cause a trouble one day if care is not taken. Now, out of 113 seats in parliament in Togo, 108 people 
voted to accept the fact that only members of parliament should choose the president. So, only five said no. Big means what they think can hold water. Now, let's go to the senators. Out of 179 senators, 137 voted to accept the fact that let the members of parliament choose the president so that they rule for six years. And then that was what happened. And it has happened. Now it was just about the president to sign the bill. Uh, now it was just about the president to sign. And that was all. But crazy. Crazy, bro. I cannot vote again in my country. I cannot choose a president in my country. I do not have any value in my country again when it comes to politics. I have to just sit down and be ruled. And whether things are happening right or not, we cannot vote to change the leader. Only members of parliament. Right now, the 130, the 113 members of parliament that have voted to accept this. What if all of them are on the side of Fauri Nassimbe? It means that Fauri Nassimbe is going to be receiving this vote all and every after six years all the time he will come to power all the time he will come to power it's crazy that means if things are not going right the people have no say you must accept it because it's constitutional it is not accepted bro ha oh, oh, oh god so ladies and gentlemen um i'm gonna end this episode and then I'm going to give out my closing remarks. And the remarks I have to say is, um, looking at the projections, trajectories, and then what is happening right now, we have to pay for African countries. Because it's only one African country I'm seeing that they are growing and they are developing. Yes, because they are bringing changes. And then I hope that if that ascends to all the African countries to also start building their country, it will help. Yeah. But right now, as we speak, it's, it's hilarious because things that are happening right now is crazy. Um, you cannot vote as a citizen in Togo unless they're members of parliament. So that means majority will always win. Yeah, majority will always win. That is the fact because there's no way. There's no way majority will always win. It's just like when you come to Ghana, comparing the NDC and the MPP, we have majority in parliament. So if the majority want to continuously let the majority wins. They will continue to vote for Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya until decades. Minority cannot change anything. In terms of DC, you cannot vote now. These are some of the bad aspects of democracy because it allows the people to misbehave. Sometimes democracy is bad. But then anyway, we'll take it up there, like, um, we pray and hope for changes. We pray and hope for any, you know, betterment of the future. I don't know. But I'm, 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 I'm ending this to wish Togo well. It has already happened. So I'm wishing them well. And then we are wishing the president well too as well. Because things are happening. And then if, if we do not have anything to say, we have to just, you know, support it. Until the people rise up to say, okay, no, let's change this. That is where you know there is value point of correction yes so because um the issue have been that how can you you know let only members of parliament to vote it's very bad because it will bring a lot of confusion and the people decision will not be you know heard you understand the people need will not be listened to so that's one of the problems so what i have to say is um the people of togo we wish you well and then whatever it be we wish you a good and a fairing economy and steering we wish you development we wish you employment we wish you new job we wish you everything but then if the going is not going well the cry out after you ladies and gentlemen my name is richie randy and this episode is brought to you by joy ideas and we'll see you next time in our next video don't forget to subscribe because we have the update for you oh,